Yo, what's up, guys? And today, they added a new oath to Deep Booking. Guys, we haven't had a new oath in like eight months. And last oath wasn't even really an oath. It was a joke oath called Fade Trimmer. But, guys, they finally added a new oath to the game. And it's not even Conquest yet. So, the new oath that they added is called Saint Chemist. And uh, if you could defer by the name, it, it is a Intelligence Potion Oath. Okay, guys? So, for this oath, it is going to heavily buff your potions. So, that's what we're going to be progressing today. We're going to be progressing a potion build using this new oath and we're gonna be abusing some tech with potions like condition runner plus uh health potions which you guys are about to see heals you like two bars of your health it's insanely strong right uh and don't even get me started on on the damage potions you guys are about to see but uh anyways guys let's go ahead and let's go to minatresa and let's progress this new oath he said bro is tweaking i am not tweaking i'm not tweaking but yeah guys let's go let's make our way to minatresa so we can progress this new oath um we said to do trial one first but guys there hasn't been a new oath in literally forever, so I am very surprised they added one in just a weekly update. But anyways, let's just go past these guys, and let's go to trial one, and I'll explain the build in trial one. It's going to be a Shrine of Order build, guys, so don't you worry. Oh, and also, guys, okay, listen, listen, listen. You guys are going to want, um, and, like, you, you guys are going to want potions, right? So what you need to do is, let me literally grab something. Let me ask this guy, yo, can I have any ingredient? food ingredient like gobletto or dentophila right he's, he's giving me his meat does this work okay i think it works but you guys just have to interact with the with the potion thing with just one time and then you're, you'll start getting potion talents a lot of people go into potion builds and they don't get the potion talents because you have to actually interact with a cauldron right so we have a cauldron at void eye so let's just use that cauldron real quick and for those of you wondering why my, why my hair is purple and stuff you guys are going to see i know i look a little zesty but i'm not zesty i promise Loki, I could just use the the thing my and my cauldron. Also, that was a random stray. All right. Anyways, so guys, just put literally any ingredient into this 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 pot. Do mix, and now since you made a single potion, you'll get uh, potion talents from here on out if you go into intelligence, right? So now that that's done, uh, we should be fine to go into trial one. So let me actually go to the ministry. So now, guys. All right, let's go back out. Also, one last thing, guys. Also, let me uh, drink this potion too, just so um. Just so we can guarantee we get potion talents from here on out. All right, guys, look at my bank real quick. All right, I am giving away this curved blade of wins to whoever likes the video, is subscribed, and comments curved. So make sure you guys do that. And I'll pick a lucky one of you. But that's that aside. Let us finally go to Mini Teresa so we can actually progress, and then I can explain the build to you guys because it is a very cracked out build utilizing this new oath, right? So let's spawn our ship and off we go, boys. All right, guys. We are at Minatresa, and before we actually do trial one, let's... So, so this is the best um, build for this oath, right? So, I do want to min-max it a little bit. So, in order to min-max this build, we need to do the potion. I mean, no, not the potion quest. Guys, we need to do the book quest so we can get a, a ton of aces. Because when you do the uh, ace quest, not only do you get an extra talent hand on your next level up, you also get, um, like, four or six aces. I forgot which one it is. It's... I think it's four, actually. So... Let's just go up here and talk to the guy. The guy that wants us to betray the ministry. Even though the ministry never rocks with us anyways. Up we go. I can't get up there. So I have to spawn my uh, chime and dwelling real quick. And then jump on top of this. Okay. Now I should be able to get up. So let's talk to you. What are you talking about? Tell me more. What can we do? I'll retrieve it. So now we can just uh, drop down to the ministry. Get the book. And then give it back to him. I don't know what Burr's going to use the book for. If any of you like lore nerds know. Uh, please tell me. But... But I don't care enough, right? Let's just go down, get this book, inspect, take, and let's go back up to him. I'm sure they don't mind. Yeah, they, they definitely look like they don't mind. Okay, we are back up. Let's give the report to him. And there we go. Quest complete. You've shown your curiosity and grown from it. So basically, uh, when you get a message like that, you get uh, extra talent on your next hand, for those of you that don't know. But that aside, let's go ahead. Go inside trial one, and then I'll explain the bow to you guys, because I low-key cooked. Not even going to hold you guys, I low-key cooked. So, in we go. Alright guys, so we're in trial one, and my goal with this build was, since it's a potion oath, right? I want to cook up the best potion build in the game. And now, there's a lot of tech with potions that not a lot of people know, unless you're in the Pocasary guild. Um, the first tech with potions being that if you have Condition Runner and you have a health potion, or these things are so loud. Let me just uh, beat the parry orbs real quick, right guys? Uh oh, uh oh, please don't, don't let me sell on the parry orbs. Guys, I that lag this where? Why is it a Kali server? game setting me up but okay before we go into intelligence let's just go 15 fortitude because there's a uh, potion town that we need that's at 15 fortitude all right so we have the Sharko. so anyways 
there's a tech where when you drink a health potion, right, usually it heals you like a bar. But if you have Condition Runner, Condition Runner is a talent that makes it so all your healing while running is times three, right? So my passive regen is times three when I'm running. But if I drink a potion, a health potion specifically, and I start running, that's times three. So it's as if I just drink three health potions. But in reality, I didn't. I only drank one, right? So we're gonna be use we're gonna be pairing that with Condition Runner. So we're gonna be going into a Jody. Um, now, uh, let me just beat up the Sharko real quick. Okay, there we go. Sharko's uh, defeated. Also, look at the new inventory, guys. Look, abilities, ba ba ba. All right, let's just get 15 forged real quick because there is a potion talent at 15 fortitude. But now, now that that's done, we can just go into intelligence. We need, we're gonna go up to 90 intelligence. Uh, I will explain why in a second, right? But we got our first potion talent, Apocasary. Uh, I'm gonna get you. So basically, Apocasary amplifies your potion effects. Let's also get um, Blood Iron Spirit as well. And we get Fishman as well, just for the plus 5 HP. And I don't want any of these low key, so I'm just going to roll two here. Let's see what we got. We like Moving Fortress, W Talent. Okay. What else did I get? We also got Robber Baron. We, we don't really need that, but we'll just go Vitality for now, guys. All right. There we go. So, on top of the three times healing from the health potions, right? Um, this is also true with damage potions. Let's say I have like 75% damage modifiers on. Uh, a damage potion i throw it at someone the thing about damage potions is that um they do true damage like they'll always do like a true damage of 40 health even if you have like 100 percent physical armor right it doesn't matter how much armor you have it'll always do 40 damage Hold on, let me beat this guy up so it also gets affected by damage multipliers so i my goal is to stack up a bunch of damage multipliers and then we're doing like 80 true damage a, a damage potion on top of the saint sworn oath which uh, amplifies your potions heavily. Guys, the, the oath is super cool. So, let's just keep going to intelligence. And we're going to be demolishing people, boys. Like, with potions. It's going to be so crazy. Alright, we got Thrusher. But guys, this new oath that came out is so strong. I I definitely recommend you guys to make the build that I'm making for this progression. Because I, I would say it is definitely the best Saint Sworn um, build as of right now, right? And also, we will be using Shrine of Order. So... For those of you that don't know how Shine of Road works, don't worry. Uh, it's going to be very min-max, which is why we did the book quest at the beginning to get a ton of aces. Um, Pre-Shrine, guys. We're going to we're gonna go 90 Intelligence. So, uh, let's just keep going. The reason for 90 Intelligence is um, just for the Mantra Pen Uncap. But at 80 Intelligence, we get Chemist Bag. And I'll explain what Chemist Bag does after I pick my talents. Let's just get... Look, Wild Alchemy, you have a chance to brew two potions instead of one. Very, very useful. But, um... As of right now, let's get... Well, I don't really want Warriors Respite low-key. I'm just going to burn Warriors Respite. Because, guys, I, I don't use it. I just have a campfire, right? We'll get Wild Alchemy for now. And let's go... Ether Absorption? Sure, why not? And we got Loot Skipper. I'm actually going to take this purely because we're going to be using mon Monster Mantras, guys. And with Monster Mantras, it actually scales off your intelligence. So I do want to get that. So let's keep going Vitality. And let's just keep going to Intelligence. There we go. Alright guys, so the main downside of potions was um, like you would spend all this time crafting like a ton of potions, right? And then if you get knocked once, all your potions are gone. Like you lose half of them on, on death. But there's this talent at 80 intelligence called Chemist Bag where you don't drop any potions on death. They become soul bound where like, well, not soul bound. You can still drop them to other people, but um, ow, that angel is pretty strong. But basically guys, let's say I got, I got gripped. I wouldn't lose any of my hard-earned potions that I spent like an hour making. And also, the new oath helps you make potions too. So we're we're chilling on that. And since Chemist Bag is at 80 um, intelligence, and we're going Thunder Call, why not just go 90 intelligence so we can also get the Mantra Pen uncapped too, which, when paired with Prophet's Cloak, is very strong. So yeah, that's my logic. Let me just beat up these angels real quick. Get a grip. There we go. So yeah, we're going to Shrine of Order once we get 90 intelligence. And then after Shrine of Order, We'll get the oath. So let's just keep going into intelligence. We love it up. Let's see what we get. Let's get neuroplasticity. Yes, please. Okay, perfect. So this is why we needed a uh, 15 fortitude potion quafer. So basically what this uh, does is this allows you to drink potions faster. And it also grants superior regenerative effects to you. So let's say I had a health, health potion, right? You definitely need potion quaffer or else um, your health potion is not healing you nothing. Okay, we also get a mantra hand. Uh, let's get summon cauldron. Just because I don't want to go inside my guild base every single time I want to make a potion, right? That's a little obvious. Okay, we've got Enforcer. Let's beat up the Enforcer. Bah! 
But yeah, guys, I am like heavily shocked that they released an oath on a weekly. For those of you that don't know, Conquest update is supposed to release um, like three or four new oaths in that uh, update. So the fact that we got one early is pretty nice. Just uh, make sure you guys like the video, please. It really helps a lot. Okay, let's. The enforcer's almost uh, gone, I think. And there we go, guys. I'm genuinely like super excited to get the new oath. But let's keep going to intelligence. There we go, 53 intelligence. We're, we just need to get the 90. Okay, we got the sand knight now. Uh, let's just beat him up. We don't have a blunt weapon, so it's gonna take a little long. But it's fine. I remember um, back in the old day of deep booking, guys, you used to be able to combo with so Summon Cauldron, where instead of a ritual cast mantra like it is now, it was instant. And people would like cast it to block break their opponents with Bulldozer. Not gonna lie, they should not have removed that because it was low key fun. Oh, also, let me explain why my hair is purple, guys. So, my hair is purple is because since we're going such high intelligence, I'm gonna pair it with fl Flare Bloods combos. But since I have a special skin cosmetic on my Flare Bloods combos, um, it's just gonna match with the purple hair. I, I just want to be dripped out, but it'll, it'll look nicer once we equip the Flare Bloods. Okay, okay, we love it up. Let's see what we get. Let's get a uh, perfect flash. There we go. Let's also get Master's Craftsman for the plus five HP. And finally, let's get Scuba Drowner for plus five HP again. And let's keep, just keep going Vitality. All right, guys, let's keep going the Song Chant. I mean, Intelligence. But yeah, not only are we gonna be healing, let me just uh, parry this real quick. Not only are we gonna be healing a ton of health potions, we're also gonna be doing a lot of damage because flare blood scales off of both intelligence and light weapons so we're gonna have such a high investment point into both also i'm not sure if i can get 90 intelligence uh just from trial one so hopefully i can i'm praying let's see what we get let's get overflowing dam okay i do not want ever changing agus so let's bring you and let's instead get uh water off a of duck's back and let's get the random intelligence combat mantra which is prediction um prediction is a very strong mantra guys so I'm very glad we got that. Bah! And yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get 90 intelligence pre-trial one low-key guys. So that's a little bummer. <sighs> but it's okay. Let's just keep going to intelligence. We're missing quite a few potion uh talents actually. And we also need all the prediction talents as well. So let's just get out of trial one real quick and we'll do a couple bounties. Alright, guys. We're out of trial one. Let's go to the void eye and let's just do some bounties just so we can get 90 intelligence and then get all the talents that we're actually missing which is quite a bit since we need the prediction talents and also uh the re remaining of the potion talents so yeah let's just go find some bounties so off we go also let me just repair my armor real quick um all right let me go to blacksmith to repair my armor guys the reason we aren't getting this oath like straight away is because since we're like making the best build for this oath we need the min max it and we need the shrine of order and we're going to Shrine of Order once we get all the talents at uh, 90 Intelligence. And with Shrine of Order, you can't Shrine of Order if you already have an Oath. You have to do it after you Shrine of Order. So that's why we have to get all the talents that we need first before we get the Oath. But after we Shrine of Order, we're, we're going to progress the Oath right away. Trust me, guys. So we prepared our armor. And let's actually go ahead and find some bounties now. All right, guys. Uh, I have a couple of bounties at Nomad Camp. Uh, there's like five people down there. I'm literally fresh out of trial one. But I need the XP. This is the only way for me to get the XP. So, I guess um, we're going to fight all those guys low-key. I mean, they're chasing after someone. I don't know who exactly they're chasing after, but let's just run over to them. Alright, it's time to get 1v5 by the entire server. Alright, let's just fight this guy. The Grand Tariska guy. We have his boyfriend watching from uh, a distance, just in case bro gets low or something like that. Uh, we have Prediction, so we can do a lot of their damage that they're going to do to us. Also, why, why are you not attacking? Hello? Why are you just parrying? Also, don't you dare step in. I already see the peanut gallery in the back. I see. I see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's just keep attacking this guy. No! You're not hitting that, buddy. Here? Prediction? No! Why'd you... Why'd you... Why'd you faint that? I don't get it. Here. Uppercut. Fresh out of trial one. But we win these, okay? Ow. 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 What is that combo? <laughs> Hold on. I, why is coming? Why is summoning cauldrons um thing so long? I was gonna do the the summoning the summoning cauldron combo, but it's so. I love getting punished for playing the game correctly and block breaking someone. It's it's genuinely might be my favorite thing ever. I just want to hit a uh, a prediction off this guy, cause then. Uh, uh, okay, that's two bars down. I'm right half after getting hit two times by this guy. And also, guys. 
What do you guys? What do you guys think is gonna happen once this guy gets knocked? Do you, why did I get teleported out? All right, guys, we are back down. Uh, let's get our fight back. Bah, bah. I don't even know like why I got teleported out the first time. Like I thought this guy was my bounty, low key. But let's just fight everyone here. Okay, we parry this. Ow, bro, what is going on? There's so much people. No, we parry this as well. I I would have predicted that, but I don't have the talent that. Why? Why there's so much people here? Here, let me. I I don't get it. It's it's a war zone. I'm already half. It's a war zone. I'm already half. Let me just focus on this guy. I would predict this, but um, I don't have the talent successive prediction. Oh oh no! You're not hitting that. I just want him to hit. Try to hit me. Oh, wait. Is he already knocked? Oh, he's not. Who are you? Uh, why is he pink? Who are you? Is that him? I I think. Bro, it, it's like a war zone out here. And I'm, I'm two bars for some reason. Okay, it's fine. Let me just... Okay, I'm, I'm healing at the campfire. Never mind, this guy won't let me heal. No. Let me go down. <gasps> I'm so low. I'm so low. I have no cl clue what's happening. Okay, I'm healing at this campfire. It, it is genuinely like a war zone. I have no clue what's happening right now. All I know is I must fight. Let me fight this guy. I'm gonna. Get, I'm just gonna spit on him for health. Oh no, he's gonna astro win me. Wait, I can stay by this campfire and get some healing. No, he doesn't have the talent that. Oh, I got health back. No, give him. Okay, let me run. This guy's trying to chase me for him. No, get away. Here, let me try to knock him. Cause um. He's trying to act me for the grip. Oh, he's stuck. Hold on. I think it's just... Oh, that guy got creepered. Now he's fighting me too. Okay, it's fine. I, I got bounty assist on the max level. We're balling, okay? No! The nomads came in too. But wait, they might help me. It's fine. We have a ton of people on us, bruh. Okay? Okay? We're balling? Hold on. Ow! We vent. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, they're all on me. This is chaotic. Who is that guy that's dressed like Batgirl? Prediction! Nice, we hit that. Okay. No. Ugh! I won't falter here! Critical! Spit! What are you doing? What? What is he doing? I... Ow. Okay, guys. It's over for me. Bro, look how much people are fighting over my body. It's not that deep! It's generally not that... What? How did I not get gripped? I see one, two, three. It's a whole, it's a whole family function. I'm not even gonna lie. This is, it's a whole family function, bruh. All right, I'm just gonna log. All right, guys, it's fine that we got knocked. You know why? It's because we got a bounty assist on a whole max level, so we're actually able to level up probably. So let me read my encyclopedia real quick. Also, guys, I do want to get um here. Let me keep leveling this up just so we can level up. But um, I. It's a good thing that we got sent it down to depths anyways, not even coping, because there's this uh, quest guy that will give us a potion talent, or a, a talent that will help with making potions. Basically, you, you can pick up stuff two times, so if I pick up a gobletter, I have a chance to get two gobletters right. Um, sometimes he asks you for potions, ingredients that I need, and a lot of the time he asks you for insanity potion. You can only make insanity potions if you have urchins, so since we're down in the depths, let's just collect urchins real quick. We should be fine. So, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Should be on the side, and then we can just use the barrel stack to get up as well. So, we're we're honestly chilling. But yeah, that, that one bounty was all we needed, guys. Because we're going to use Shrine of Blast me after this. Since we need the Shrine of Order, and we can't level up to get uh, the, for the remaining talents. So, we can just use Shrine of Blast me. Also, where's the urchins at? And then we can get uh, start progressing the oath, right? Where are these urchins, bro? I, I'm checking far and wide. Guys, I might be, like, genuinely blind. I usually know where the urchin spot is, but I can't find it. Oh, I found it! The urchin heaven! Okay, guys, we're gonna stack up on a ton of these urchins, just so we can, uh... Just in case he asks us for two insanity potions, but let me just stack up on this, just so I don't have to come back down to the depths and get the stuff. So I'm even gonna server hop. Oh, I leveled up too. Let me, uh, see what I get. Perfect! Okay, let's get, um... I want all of this, bruh. Alright, well, I am gonna get all-knowing for now. So, let's get all-knowing. Let's get, uh... Neuro overload, of course. And, bro, I need literally all of this stuff. Placebo effect. 
Drinking potions to your allies have a chance to inflict the potion effect upon them. Chemist bag. Chain reaction. I need all of this, bruh. Just 12 steps ahead. Um, let's get placebo effect because it's a rare. The commons we can get later, right? Uh, let's keep going vitality. Let me serve up so I can collect more potion uh, urchins. Okay. I think these po urchins are all we need. I think 30 is like more than enough low key. So let's just gather this stuff. And there we go. All right, guys. So now let's escape. Let's just get to 90 intelligence, and then we can use Shrine of Blasphemy. Uh, we'll use Shrine of Blasphemy, get all the talents that we're missing, and then we can Shrine of Order, and then we can start getting the Oath. The the Saint Sworn, or the, not Saint Sworn, bro. I'm I'm heavily, like, mispronouncing it. Let me check what it's called again. The Saint Chemist Oath, right? So, yeah, let's just, um, let's see if there's a barrel stack in the server. Hopefully there is. Bro, Yui Alt 5 and Yui Alt 3 sent me a friend request. Um, okay, a little odd. And there is a barrel stack. Thank you to the freshie who made this. Goaded, okay? All right, off we go, boys. All right, let's drop down. Hopefully, we don't take a lot of fall damage, but our trial should be easy, guys, because we're literally, like, fresh out trial one. It should be just, like, a, a bandit mud skipper or something. So, up we go, boys. Up we go. Let's do pride. Oh, and, guys, we just got 90 intelligence, so let's lock that. We don't need any more. We're balling now. Let me lock my fortitude. Now, all we need is one light weapon and one agility, and then we can um, try to blast me. Try and blast me just to get all the talents that we're missing. Okay, we just have an angel as our uh, trial. So let's beat him up real quick. 10% extra damage since we have overflowing dam. Pop. And there we go. All right, guys. Oh, all right, guys. Let's go up to the surface now. All righty. This just has been filled. All right, guys. Yep, we go. Bro, we look so dripped. I'm not even going to hold you guys. All right, guys. So um, let's go to Etrus real quick. Or let me buy some training gear real quick. So we need one agility for Shrine of Order. So let me buy an ankle weight real quick. But I'm broke. I'm brokey. So let me sell some of my stuff. I, I would like to sell you and you. Okay, I think we're not broke no more. Let's buy the ankle weights. Okay, let's just get one agility. There we go. We can lock that now. Because that was just uh, purely for Shrine of Order. And now we just need one light weapon. So we have to go out and go to Etrus and buy Stiletto. We also have to stop by Etrus. For some ingredients right so for the quest for that one um talent that makes us get like two of every ingredient on pickup so like when i pick up this wheat instead of getting one wheat i get like two wheat we do need some stuff so the the npc that we're talking to we have to make three potions for them right and they can either ask you for a harm potion a life force potion a speed potion an ether potion a sandy or insanity potion so um in case they ask for insanity we have urchins if they ask for harm we have we're gonna get brown caps if they ask for life force we're gonna get red blah 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 so basically i'm just gonna stop by etrus get the stiletto and also the the ingredients that we need just so we're prepared all right we're at etrus uh we just have to get a pomar a dentophilo and a brown cap while we're here so i'm gonna stack up on all that stuff when i see it but uh yeah mainly we're here for this stiletto though oh there's some brown caps over here so let's uh take this stuff and some dentophilos here and then there's a pomar tree somewhere that um i know i'll just show you guys and look, the reds are right here too. Like, there's literally everything that we need is uh, Etrus. Except for the urchins and blue caps. But it's fine, it's on the way. And boom. Okay, guys, after some off camera grinding, we have 12 reds, 11 dentifilos, 11 brown caps, 25 urchins. We're just missing pamars, which there's a tree literally up there. And we're also missing blue caps, which we'll get when we have to go to Shrine of Blasphemy. So, yeah, we're, 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 we're chilling. We're chilling. Should be able to get this talent without problem. Look, there's even Pomars on this giant tree. Let me just uh, chop it down with my lumber axe. Actually, I think my lumber axe is too small to chop down this tree. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. I'm just farming the manual way. Okay, we got five from the tree. The rest I can't reach. Let's go ahead and get the stiletto real quick. The extra scars do not like me right now because I'm Void Walker, but uh, it's fine. It's whatever. All right, let's buy the... What? I thought... I didn't even know there was you guys here. All right, let's buy the stiletto. There we go. Now, once we're out of combat, we can actually equip it. <coughs> All right, well... Once we get one light weapon, we're already just trying to blast me and get all the talents that we're actually missing. So let's go ahead and sail to Lower Risa, guys. And then after we shrine to blast me and get the blue caps, of course, we can um, shrine of order. And then we can progress, start progressing the new oath, right? And getting the new oath. So very balling. Yo, those guys are giving each other back shots. What are they doing? What in the? He's puking the bend over and then he gives him a back shot. What in the world is happening here? You know, I, I, I don't care. I really don't care. I, I, I've, I've seen Stranger on Deep Oaken. Stranger stuff on Deep Oaken. My guy, my guy was doing the puking animation to, to like assimilate him bending over. That is 
crazy stuff. ERP to another level, bro. Also, I, I only came back to the entrance to get to loot that Pamar tree, so we have 12 Pamars now, so we're goaded. Uh, let's actually hit the lower reason now. All right, guys, let's spawn our ship, and now the Etrus guards are probably going to get off me because I'm leaving your town. Don't worry, I didn't want to stay, okay? I didn't want to stay. All right, little loot bag in the ocean, but let's make our way to Lower Resia. You trying to blast me. We also need to get one light weapon, and we also need to loot the blue caps. Once we do that, everything is set in motion, okay? Set in motion for us to get this oath, Shrine of Order, and to become a very strong um, salt chemist uh, build. All right, guys, uh, we're at Lower Resia. So let's go and get the blue caps first. Let me also find a stray Sharko so I can get one light weapon off him. Let me actually use my weapon manual real quick. Can I use my weapon manual? Oh, you want? Oh, you want beef? Oh, you want beef? Oh, that was short-lived. Okay, let's go find uh, the blue caps and then Sharko. Oh, wait, I can just beat up these bandits for the light weapon XP. Um, okay, I still did not get the light weapon XP. Good to know. Okay, let's drop down here because this is the area with the blue caps and yeah, give one second. All right, let's just jump all the way up here. And up we went. Okay, so we can actually get an extra talent hand if we talk to this guy as well. There we go. And now let's just collect these blue caps. Collect we shall. All right, we have 10 blue caps. And that is more than enough for um, the guy, right? So now that we have all this, our inventory is so full. Let me actually drop something. Because uh, let me drop like one urchin so I'm not so slow. We can actually head to Shrine of Blasphemy now, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, let's head inside now. And I can just get one light weapon off these mudskippers real quick. So, here, let me uh, beat this guy up. Bah, bah, bah. Bro, how hard is this to get one light weapon? Oh, my God, how I still don't have it. This is the most I've had to grind for one light weapon. This is getting outrageous. This is my third mudskipper. Oh, thankfully, uh, an event spawned. This surely, surely this is enough. Okay, there we go. Light weapon increase. We're good now. All righty, guys. Unless you trying to blast me, get all the talents that we're missing. So, I wish to engage in a deal. I agree. Very well. Perfect. All right. Let's get Chemist Bag. Firstly, there we go. Let's get, um... Eureka! No. Okay, instead, we'll get, um, Chain Reaction. A lot of the stuff we need is common talent, so... All right, so we can get 12 steps ahead now. Return Dark Gauges is something we don't need, so let's burn that. Let's get, uh... Successive Prediction. We'll get Approaching Singularity as well. And, okay, finally, we'll take Eureka, okay? And Replenish the Knockout, thank you! Alright, guys, we can just row to this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna row to everything, actually. Okay, and finally, row to this. There we go. And let's go Vitality. We should be able to max our Vitality here. There we go. And perfect! Alright, guys, now we're ready to Shrine of Order. So, let's go to our Illuminate. Alright, guys, I brought um, Aquafina here to just teleport me to our Illuminate, so off we go. I did not want to walk all that, not gonna lie. Alright, and let's go inside now, guys. Alright, guys, um, let's Shrine of Order real quick. And then after Shrine of Order, we can actually start obtaining and progressing the new oath. So, yeah, down we go with the zip line. Okay, let's go inside, boys. Run past all these mud skippers. Ow, that hurt low key. Ow, that, ow, this all hurts. Alright, anyways, Shrine of Order. Yes, please, I wish to engage in a deal. Oh, wait, I'm missing one knowledge. Okay, guys, hold on. Because, guys, because we Shrine of Ordered so early, we're actually missing a knowledge, so... Let me just go ahead and do that real quick. We have to go to Fort Merritt and do the quest, so that's fine. All right, guys, let's just teleport to Fort Merritt with Teleportation Bell, because I I am too lazy to drive all the way there. All right, we're here. Let's just do the quest for two knowledge real quick, and then afterwards, after we do that, we can just uh, handle the quest to get the talent. I see a boat over there as well, but... um, All right, uh-oh. I just fell all the way down. Awkward. All right. Aqua spawned a boat for me, but yeah, let's go up here. We'll do the Fort Merritt quest, and then we'll get the talent that we wanted. Should be chilling after. All right, guys. We're at Meteor Isles. Let's go to the girl, and just so we can get two knowledge. Okay. There you are. I'll help you. I guess. What's the deal? Are you still seeking a greater change? And there we go. All right. Let's go help her now. Let's go back to Fort Merritt. All right. I'm only level 10 with a Stiletto that does 11 damage, so it's going to be a little difficult, but I think, I think we got it. We just have to help her kill like uh, one guard or ish, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Let's just put no. Let's just press the lever. Oh, Aqua's getting beat up, bruh. All right, up we go. Up, up and away. Oh, it's a Cali server. This makes it even worse, bruh. Trash server. All right. Um. Okay, let's help this girl. I'll, I'll avenge you. Okay, this one knocked. Oh, that's all of them knocked. Let's grip them real quick. Oh, why are you attacking me? 
I'm the one helping you! Central Authority has cleared you as her enemy. Oopsies. Alright, look at her go, bruh. Look at the NPC go. Getting her vengeance. Alright, I think these are the last two guards with the grip, and then that's the quest completed. Let me grip this guy. We know we complete the quest once the chest spawns, so... Oops, I accidentally knocked the girl we're helping. Okay, is the chest here? Oh, yep it is. Oh, inch at two! Oh, oh bet. Alright guys, um, let us go back to her and get the plus two knowledge real quick. Alright, okay, are you satisfied? End dialogue, and there we go. We have plus two knowledge now, so let's finally try to order. We can just teleport back. It's so nice having a having a friend with teleportation bell. And boom, we're back. Alright, let's talk to the shrine. Okay, shrine, I wish to cage in a deal. I agree very well. This looks good to me. Let's say okay. And bam. There we go, guys. Alright. Well, now guys, since we shrine of ordered, uh, we still have the quest to do. I'll do that in a little. Let's actually get the oath first. So Let's go ahead and do that, boys. All right, guys. So to get this oath, you need three ingredients, right? You need Celestial uh, Agor, okay? Stardust and Primital Lotus, which is just any flower in the Void Zone. So I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. But before you guys actually go to the oath location and the oath NPC, make sure you guys just get this ingredients first because um, you, you don't want to sail all the way to Fairman. You go to the NPC and find out, oh... Actually, I need to come back to Song Seeker and get all these ingredients. So, just save the hassle. Get the ingredients now. And I'll show you guys how to get the ingredients. But also, guys, the, the oath is very busted. So, just, just wait until we get it. Alright, guys. So, to get the Celestial Accor, literally just get get Katin, get this blood, right? Get the blood from the angel. And there you go. You have the core, right? Um, Now, let's go ahead and get the Lotus real quick. But yeah, make sure you guys have a canteen so you can actually do this stuff. All right, and now we just need a flower since we have the Accor. So it's just three ingredients. Very easy to get. So let us get it. Oh, she just fell. All right, so it can be any flower. I'm trying to look for the flower. Oh, I see it. I see a flower right here, guys. So yeah, just in the void zone, literally just pick any of these flowers. And there we go. We have a lotus. Okay. And now the last thing we need is stardust, which is um, actually the thing that Link Shriders use to teleport to places. So uh, let's go to Hive and get that last ingredient real quick, okay? So let me go to Aquafina and let her t have uh, just teleport us around. All right, so let's teleport uh, back to back to Hive. We'll get the Stardust and we'll also get the talent, which is the reason we collected all this stuff, all this uh, stuff, by the way. So off we go. Okay, we're back at uh, this place. It's not it's not a far walk, walk from where we are now. So up we go. Let's just keep going up. And then, okay guys, so the place you get Stardust is all the way up there, so I need Aquafina to carry me up there. Or we can just head stack up there. But make sure you guys bring a friend, because unless you have a Jody, which you're not, as as for now, if you're progressing this build, uh, it's going to be impossible to get up there solo, or extremely difficult at least. So when making this build, just bring a friend, just so you can get all this stuff uh, as easy as possible. Or actually, I, th I think you can get up here solo if you just use these jump pads low-key. Yeah, I, I think you can. Or actually, no, that jumps way too far. Oh no, this jump pad here though. Okay, we keep on jumping, I guess. All right. All right, so here, guys, the Stardust is gonna be down there. Hopefully there's no golems here though. Oh, there is golems. All right, I do not want to aggro that thing. So, um, oh, she's gonna aggro it instead. Okay, that's fine. Let's just swoop up the Stardust. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got the Stardust, let's dip now. All right, let us dip. I, I think she might have be having some tr trouble. There's also a Void Walker on us now. All right, but that's fine. Up we go. All right, guys, and now our final step is to go to the guy that gives us the the talent, right? And he's going to tell us to go to Fairy Man. I'm not sure if this is required, but I'm pretty sure it is, because why would he tell us to go meet um, the guy that's living in Fairy Man for the Oath if it wasn't required, right? So I think you have to talk to him. So make sure you guys get all the stuff that I did here. So the Gabalettos, the Pamars, everything like that. Oh, let me, let me get a health pack from this Thresher. Get all this, and then talk to the guy that I'm about to show you guys, okay? But make sure you guys get all, like, the ingredients, like, prior. Yeah, there is a Void Walker. Let me just beat him up real quick. Oh, he's chill. He, he knows it's me. I don't really want to fight right now, so just save my bet all, please. Alright, I need a health pack badly. So, um, we can just beat up that Legion Guard low-key. But he might auto-grip me. Hopefully not. But let's just beat up this guy for health pack. Uh, it was a very small health pack, but, um, alright. Let's give him the screenshot. Make sure I subscribe, okay? Subscribe! And off we go, okay? So guys, we're gonna get the talent. He's gonna tell us to go to the Fairy Man. We're gonna go Fairy Man, okay? We're gonna give Fairy Man all the stuff 
that he wants, and then we should be chilling. Let's just be up this thruster for a health pack. Guys, I had to bring Aquafina because like it's so difficult to get up to get up there, like without light hook, so. The place to the NPC that we're going to right now, like, you require, like, so much of Joe to get up there without, like, um, the little, like, hook talent thing. So, yeah, that's why we brought Aqua. It's not purely for the teleportation things. We just have to go to the Widow Cave and go to the NPC that we're looking for. So, just, uh, head your way over here, guys. And look, we would be able to get all the way up there if we had the light hook, I mean, the, the hook talent thing, but we don't. So, instead, we're gonna have to go to the side and go up the slow way. Oh, the Void War is trying to attack me now. So let me just beat him up real quick. Where he sucks. Oh my god, he sucks. All right, let me grip. Um, all right. Oh yeah, profit cloak somatic on him, and then greetings low key. But hold on, I can't. I can't carry all this. All right. Anyways, um, let's make our way up, boys. So you just want to go to the side here. There's gonna be a red alpha shark. Don't don't aggro it if you're low level like me, which I already aggroed it, so I messed up, Ray. So let me just beat him up real quick. Oh, he got flung though. And there we go. Okay, trash inside that chest. But all right, just co come up here, boys. Up we go. Up we go again. Wait, am I able to do this without extra person? I think I think I might be able to, actually. Oh, no. This is the jump I've struggled with. So we need someone right there that can uh, help us jump up. I mean, we we could use our Summon Cauldron. And then on top of Summon Cauldron, we use our Chime of Dwelling. Wait, I might be cooking. Summon Cauldron plus Chime of Dwelling. Oh, I am not cooking, actually. But what if I place another Chime of Dwelling? Chime of Dwelling. Jump up here. Another Void Walker. But we can use the Void Walker as a boost. And the Void Walker came back, same one. Alright, now let's go to the Widow Cave and talk to the NPC. Okay, we made it up. Widow Cave is literally just around this corner. And I found it. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's go to the NPC now. So we're just going to go down here. Alright, once you enter this water area, literally just go in inside this door. You can just open it, interact. And then the guy that we need is going to be here. So, uh, this is the guy we need. So I'm interested in a lesson. I can handle it, okay? So ambitious, I can rile your curiosity. Listen well for your assignment to advance your intellect. Show me show me a potion which can harm its victim. So we're gonna have to make a one brown cat potion. So use your um use your summon cauldron. Okay. And now let's use one brown brown cap and then we can give it to him. I've made the potion. Here's my creation. And there we go. Do this two more times so we can get the talent. So now it says deplete the sanity of its victim. So it's one urchin for this. So one urchin. Let's show him the potion. I made the potion. Here's my creation. There we go. And now for our last one is another sanity one. So just one urchin again. There we go. I made the potion. Here's my creation. And boom, we have Harvester. So um, let's just keep doing this until he tells us how to get the oath. So guys, you just want to keep giving him potions until you get a new dialogue option. So to advance your intellect, deplete the sanity of the victims. So it's another urchin. That's why we collected so much stuff, guys. So here's my creation. And just literally just keep doing this until you get another dialogue option. But he keeps asking for insanity potions, like, it's a good thing we brought a ton of urchins. Okay, fourth, a surge of speed, so that's Calabash, so let us put in the Calabash. I made the potion. Oh, wait, is it not speed? Oh, no, that's Pamar. I, I messed up, actually. All right, there we go. Guys, you have to do this a lot of times, not even gonna lie. Actually, guys, I'm supposed to, getting, I'm supposed to be getting the, the dialogue option right now. I'm not sure why I'm not. All right, guys, I was a little confused as to why I wasn't getting the dialogue option. You only have to do this quest three times, and then... You need 75 intelligence for the oath. So after I had 65 intelligence, after I went 75 intelligence, uh, I actually got the dialogue auction finally. So let's say who taught you in the first place. There we go. Ah, it was a long time ago now. My teacher, Atrophalus of the old steward. So where can I find Atrophalus? And okay. So uh, there, the oath is 75 intelligence only, which is fine. The build is still fine. Uh, now we need to go to Fairyman. Okay. So let's teleport to Fairyman, guys. All right, guys, so off we go. We don't have a waypoint at uh, Ferryman. It's one at Songseeker, but we can just drive there. All right, guys, off we go. All right, guys, let's just make a turn here. All right, guys, we're at Ferryman's Watch. So uh, where the guy is actually located is... Let me go find it real quick so I can show you guys. Okay, literally in this, like, broken tower here. If you go inside here, you will find uh, this guy. So this is the guy that the guy tells us about, right? So let me defeat the brain sucker real quick. All right, but anyways, we'll find this guy, right? So, we'll talk to you. See us. Spoke highly of you. What can I do to help? Alright. But basically, we need Celestial Accor, Stardust, and Lotus, right? So, I'll do my best to retrieve them. And we already have them. So, I have the ingredients. He says, Astounding work, my friends. The, they dart across the ancient distillery, pulling various levers. Ba 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 ba. Filling up two vials. So, I say bottom up. And we have the oath, Assault Chemist, right? So, um, okay. So, we actually got a ton, <laughs> a ton of stuff. 
for this. So I'll explain what it does right now. But we have the oath now. And we can actually progress this oath by talking to him again and say, The history speak of virtuous salts. What will I need? Having deformulated this residue, I was able to detect stardust, vibrant gems, and perpluent alloy. So we have the stardust. We don't. We have the vibrant gems. Oh, wait, we don't have a vibrant gem, but I'm sure Aqua has a vibrant gem. Okay. Yep, she does. So the only thing we don't have is purplant alloy, which we can actually just get from Fairyman. Um, but let me showcase to you guys what the oath actually does, right? So let me make, let me put all, out my summon cauldron real quick. And let me make a cracked out health potion. So let me use Gobletos. Bah, bah, bah. Let me get the Pamars. Bah, bah, and boom. Okay. So this is a really good health potion. And now what we can do is we put it in here, put it in here. And let's make a few more of those, actually. So, we'll put the Gobletos inside. We'll put the Pomars inside. Boom, boom. Okay? Let's put it in the dispensary. But this time... So, we have it on throw mode. Let's do this one on drink mode. Okay? And there's only two modes. Throw and drink. And our last one, we could do um, a damage potion. So, let's do three blue caps and two brown caps. Make this potion. Okay? Let's open up this dispensary. And we want this on throw mode. Okay? Guys, we have infinite potions infinite potions look at this look boom oh my god that dealt a bar my health but we have we have <laughs> infinite potions now i can do this to heal myself or i can just um do this the drink variant with my health potion so i'm drinking it bop, bop, bop. bro look how much that heals us um and then when we get condition runner that's gonna heal us like three times more but basically guys it's a separate cooldown but it has infinite uses I don't have to remake those potions. The main downside of potion builds is you have to like always make those potions. If you min-max a potion and just do this, you're fine. You're fine. Like look, let's throw that aqua again. Boom, the damage potion. Um, and it's infinite. If I want to heal myself, bah, there we go. Actually, I think it was reds, not pomars. I think I might have messed up the greens on that. But all right, guys. So that's just for the first talent. Let's go ahead and progress this oath. So we need to beat Fairy Man real quick so let's go ahead and do that just so we get the purple alloy all right guys since i'm level 10 i obviously can't do fairman by myself aquafina does not have to do fairman either so um i just asked a fan to join me on a pv build and help me with fairman real quick so we get the alloy so uh yeah let's just wait for the fan all right guys we have the guy here let's uh light the campfires and let's do fairman now so let's light this stuff okay we lit the stuff and off we go boys off we go all right guys um, so let's just beat up, uh, Fairman real quick, just so we can get purple and alloy. Um, he says, so do I carry? <laughs> yeah, just carry, please. I, I have a stiletto to my name. I am not beating Fairman legit without, without boost. Ow! But Fairman does a lot of damage, but we can just use our health potions that we have. Our infinite health potions as well. Low key, I messed up making the health potions. I put two Pomars instead of two reds and Pomars damaged me. When I actually use the health potion, so. Um, also, this guy said he was a carry. Bro, he's not carrying. Stuff is looking real grim. Oh, yeah, Shadow Seekers. He might be cooking. No, bro, he's not cooking. Guys, I got I got the Fairyman carry from Wish. Why am I the one doing the most damage? <laughs> Stuff is looking real grim. Oh, no, wait. It might be saved. He's Gale. I think he might actually be a carry. Um, I'm so I'm so low, though. But he missed his Eclipse Kick. Oh, I got I got the Fairyman carry from Wish, bro. Hell nah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I appreciate him carrying me, though. All right. Let me throw the damage potion at Fairyman. Boom. He said, I'm sorry, my my ping being bad. You don't need ping for um Fairyman, though. Okay, he gets a clips kick. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm just going to have to keep drinking these health potions. Ah, I wish I didn't put the two Pomars. I'm getting dealt, like, half a bar every single time I drink the health potion. The things that's supposed to heal me. But you can, you can always swap out the potions. But, um, yeah, it's a little annoying. But he's letting me get all the hits. Please. Just hit him. Oh, he just ate all those Shadow Seekers. Where did he go? I'm genuinely, like, so curious. Where is... Where is Jamal Era? What? Where are you? What in the world? Why? Why did he leave? Bro. Carrie. Why is he like... <sighs> this is getting real sad. Bro, he's putting a campfire here. It's looking grim, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even saying that. Like, it'd be funny. It's looking grim, bro. I got... I got the PV carry healing at the campfire. This is madness. Okay, he might be cooking. Oh, he might be cooking. We'll see. I don't know if the Shadow Seekers do that much damage, but it looks like it hurts. Oh, yes, Tornado? Okay, I think bro was just scaring me. Okay, 
Okay, this is what I like to see. He said his keybinds weren't working. Now he can actually carry, so I believe him now. Oh, Fairman's throwing javelins. He's on second phase finally. All right, let's see. The shadow seekers into the shadow vortex. Does it work? Oh, he gang. Oh, he gang. Okay, the Fairman might be over soon. I hope. I hope he's over. Okay, there we go, and we got purple and alloy. Yes. Let's see the chests. Let's see our our humble our humble rewards. Okay, but we got the purple and alloys. Thank you to this guy. No problem. Thank you. I got what I wanted. All right, guys. Well done. Well done. We even got Fairman's coat as well. Perfect. All right, let's go inside. All right, guys. Perfect. We got the alloy. We got everything we needed. We have vibrant gems. Um, let's go back to the guy and let's progress this oath. Okay. So let's go in you. Hey there, bud. Can you remind me? Wait. Oh, I have to craft it. Okay. Let me um, let me put down a guild base. Wait. Is there not a crafting table here? Okay. There's a there's a crafting table at the void eye. So. I can just go through the Void Eye real quick and craft it. So let me do that. All right, to the Void Eye we go. There we go. Where is the crafting table here? I don't know. Oh, I found it. Okay. So, Vibrant Gem, Stardust, and then the Alloy. So let us go on the crafting table. And there we go. Biotic Salts. Can we craft more? Oh, no, I think... Okay, there we go. Well, we did it. And we got Arithmetic Salts. So alter your brews to create lingering clouds. Wait, did we just max out the oath? Let me um check on the campfire. And we got antithetic salts. And it didn't even take the greens from us. All right, let me check on the campfire and see if we actually maxed out the oath. Yeah, we did. Five out of five. We, guys, we maxed out the oath. Um, Okay. Amazing. So let me actually show you guys. So here, look. You need a cauldron to add your aromatic salts to. So basically what this does is alter your brews, create lingering clouds on mist or, on, or shattering. So let me put down a, a summon cauldron, right? Bah! Let me put in two goblettos, okay, and then some aromatic salts. And then when we mix, okay, let us throw this, and look, it's a cloud of healing, okay, guys? Um, there's also, there's also a, um, talent that makes it so, like, the positive effects of your potions do not affect enemies. So, like, if I have a health potion and I just throw it down, no one else can benefit from, benefit from that uh, health potion. And then there's also a salt that can invert the effects so let's let me show you guys something real quick so let me go back to the cauldron i'll go to that cauldron let's make a damage potion so three blue blue caps and two brown caps okay and then let's add the biotic salts oh wait, no no this is the wrong salt actually antithetic salts okay let's add you boom mind breaking potion this is mind breaking but it's really not okay and then we throw this down bah! it healed us instead of damaging us it healed us okay so yeah we maxed out the oath let me actually see what the guy says now so let me go to the guy real quick boys i wish to depart okay what does bro say to us oh i can tell by the look on your face that you've cracked it haven't you bravo i'm considered you bye 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 okay no one cares all right guys there we go we maxed out the oath all right guys since we maxed out the oath let's go ahead and actually uh here's what i want to do boys okay let me put down the summon cauldron all right Let's just make a ton of damage potions. A ton. So, three brown caps, two blue caps. I'm not going to do the health potions until I get Condition Runner because it's just going to be a waste of my time. Low key. So, all right. Let's open up the dispensary. Let's take, let's replace some of this stuff. So, let's replace you. And then re let's replace you. There we go. So, we have three damage potions. Guys, I'm feeling devious, okay? Let's go to the Void Eye and... <laughs> Let's let's go find a bounty boys. Okay, let's go find a bounty. We're never gonna lose these potions either Hold on. Let me make sure they're on throw like all of them. Yeah, they're all on throw. Let's go find a bounty real quick All right guys, I like two bounties at the boatman's watch literally like a place we were just at So let me go to them real quick guys. Look how drip we look bro. We're actually dripped I right, wish to depart and let's go find them real quick. It's just two bounties. Oh I found them. All right guys. Let's throw the potions at them. Boom boom Boom! Direct hit on him. That deal that dealt like two bars of damage. I already know it. Alright, he's a gun user. So uh let's play a little safe. Bah! Okay. No! Why does everyone have that move? Why does it do two bars? Stuff is not sweet, like genuinely. That move is like so annoying. Everyone has it. He also has um prediction as well. Okay. But it's fine. Let's do this. Okay. Boom. Wait, let's go, um, go back up real quick. Oh my god. He just swapped out with me with another gun user. Why is everyone a rifle user? This is like my bane of existence. I'm not, not even going to lie. Here, let's just put down the mist. 
Okay, now he's getting damaged within it. Okay. No. I dodged. I dodged. I dodged. I dodged. I don't get it. Why am I being punished for playing the game correctly? Let's just keep throwing the potions at him. Guys, I would have made health potions if I um had Condition Runner. But, like, we don't have enough points for Condition Runner yet. We, ha we had to level up a couple times. But, um, don't you dare use it again. That mantra is so difficult to, to like, fight against. I'm not even going to, like, hold you guys. But, anyways, let's just keep on. Keep on fine, doing our best. We need to spit off him though, because I'm very low. And he's just you here, let's just put down damage potion. There we go. His friend's trying to attack us too. Bruh, please hit your friend with that mantra, okay? No! No! Damage potion! Damage potion again! Guys, this oath is so so fun. I most of my health, he hasn't even M1 me yet. Most of my health comes from that stupid mantra. He just, he vented my, you're knocked. How'd he get knocked? Okay, now his friend, now his friend's stepping in. Guys, we'll make health potions once we, um, once we get condition runner, by the way. But, um, how did you get knocked? You dealt four bars of my health using that mantra. It was genuinely crazy. Bah, damage potion. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's, it's high noon, buddy. It's high noon. Here, another damage potion. That's how you guys know the damage potions are actually doing a like, ton of damage because I barely hit him. I have 11 damage to Leto. My my main source of damage is is definitely not um, from my weapon. No, let him go now. Please, I hate Flying Storm's Eye. This is my... This is like a nightmare come true. Like, for real. Okay, it's fine, though. Let's do critical. Ah, he's a parry demon. Stuff takes real trash. Oh, oh. Okay, and then let's put down the, the, the mist. Bah! Buddy, get in that mist cloud and enjoy it, okay? Boom. I need to I need to spit off him, Loki. Stop trying to range me just because you're a rifle user. Doesn't mean you need to range. Boom. Boom. Okay, we hit both. Oh, we're oh we're cooking, bruh. We're we're generally cooking. Okay. No, we we block this. I just have to get some spits off, and then I'll be um fine, Loki. Or once we get flare bloods, guys. When we equip the Flare Bloods, which scales off of intelligence, this build is going to be amazing. Okay, let's just keep getting him. We can put down the, the mist soon. Very soon, actually. Stop trying to rage me! Just eat this, please! Oh. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, he's using wind up. Oh, he's using wind up. Okay, but we parry it. You are not sweet. Bah! Okay, let's do damage potions. Oh! Ow! I know he's low. We need to get some spits off. There we go. We got spit off. Okay. No. Parry. Critical. Oh, I got another health pack. From Archmage himself. Archmage himself has bestowed upon me a health pack to beat this Storm's Eye user. I have a personal vengeance against Storm's Eye, bruh. Ow. Oh, he's on fire, though. Don't pick him up. Don't pick him up. Bah! No, he picked him up. Okay, he picked him up. Ow. Ow. It's getting real sad over here. Damage potion. Like, he's on fire again. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, this is like genuine. Where do you think you're going? Boom. Like, no way. You just put him up here. I don't even like. Firstly, how much health do you have? Stop winding up. Okay, we... Boom. There we go. Spit. Pa, pa. I've hit you with like 10 damage potions already. Like pretty damaging po potions too. They're not... Oh. Hold on. They're not like... They're not sweet or nothing, bruh. They hurt. I promise they hurt. Okay. Boom. No. We dodged that. Ba. 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 Uh, I, he has to be low now. He said, not gonna lie, if you kill us both... What? Tell me how to get the oath after. Uh, you guys will see with this video. Don't worry. Bah. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's low, depending on like how he's playing low key. Uh, it's just that I have 11 damage stiletto, so it's like <laughs> this is not a true showcase of the build when I'm dealing 11 damage on M1. Ow. 
All right, this fight's taking forever. I'm just gonna run away and um and try to grip this guy. Okay, I'm just gripping this guy, bro. That fight has lasted forever. There we go, bro. What is he doing? I don't I don't think he's attacking me anymore. Um, okay, he stopped attacking me. Uh, let's go back to the void eye guys. That was um a very long fight because of our weapon. So first thing I'm doing is actually first thing I'm doing is getting to 25 agility so we can get condition, uh, condition runner. This guy, this guy stopped attacking me. So okay, let's just put all our, all our points into agility. Oh wait, guys, I have bro, I have 36 investment points. I am not leveling up anytime soon, but um, got it, got it. All right, guys. Well, that was part one. I'll level this up in part two. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Part two will be tomorrow. This new oath is busted. It's just that I'm level 10, so I'm not doing that much damage. But just, just wait, wait it out, okay? But uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, bye, guys.